a rejected offer threatening to bring Sydney's rail services grinding to a halt. I need to inform the travelling public that there will not be train services between Thursday and Sunday this week. The rail union had put an ultimatum to the state government to either run 24-hour services on all lines Thursday to Sunday or face a complete shutdown. If we continue to try and run 24-hour services over the weekend, the fact is that it will eventually lead in the failure of our rail network. The government agreed to a 24-hour trial last weekend but proposed to limit that to the T1 line this week. At this stage, uh, that proposal has not been accepted, uh, the bans have not been lifted and we're now just over 24 hours away from that action kicking in. Union members are now expected to walk off the job. It's not enough running that one line between Strathfield and Hornsby uh, to make us drop our action um, that calls for 24-hour running. But the union says its shutdown will only impact services on two days, not four. There may be some disruption on Friday and Saturday, but there shouldn't be any disruption to the commuters of Sydney on Thursday or Sunday. The face-off comes amid a broader stalemate over pay. We want this bargain done before Christmas. So it is incumbent on the government, the ball is in the government's court now, to come and sit with us at the bargaining table and get this deal done. Commuters are dreading the possible shutdown. Uh, not helpful, that's for sure. Yeah. <laughs> I have my work at the weekend. I don't know, maybe I'll just take my car, which is obviously not the best outcome. To add to the chaos, rock band Pearl Jam is expected to perform to 40,000 fans in the Sydney Olympic Park and thousands more are expected at A-League football matches at Moor Park. Transport authorities say those events will be very difficult to pull off without the rail network. It will be a very challenging night at Olympic Park unless there are train services operating. A weekend of chaos for millions of commuters. Sean Tarek Goodwin, ABC News, Sydney. Let's go over to Sean Tarek Goodwin now at live for us at Central Station. Sean, with all that in mind, is there any chance of a last minute deal to keep the trains running? Well, there is, Jeremy. Both sides say they're open to negotiating to avoid the shutdown. The Transport Minister says she made the call today to give people enough time to plan their transport. But the union says it's open to an in-person meeting tomorrow, and as does the minister. But it seems that neither side is willing to make the first move. So, as it stands, the strike will go ahead, and it could continue indefinitely until a resolution is found. That could mean no trains each weekend from Thursday evening to Sunday morning. Sean Tarek Goodwin reporting.